What's going on Fitness View Junkies and fitness enthusiasts all around the globe? Welcome back to another episode of Fitness For You. So I recently got a question that basically brought things back to basics, right? And how do you build muscle, right? And I think we get so confused with everything going on in the fitness industry, you know, with you got CrossFit over here, you got this fat over here, and you got this diet over here, and this guy's doing intermittent fasting, that we kind of just forget, you know, the basics of what the fitness industry is, right? How do you put on muscle? That simple question that everybody wants to know. Well, today I'm going to break it down for you so simply that you'll be able to take it with you, put it in your pocket, and be able to use it for the rest of your life. So what's the first rule of thumb? The first rule of thumb is progressive overload. You're like, what's progressive overload? It's big word, right? I said that at first too, but then I figured out what it was, and it's not a hard concept. When you're in the gym and you are training, you want to challenge your muscles and put it under a stress that it is not used to, right? So if you're doing dumbbell press, right, and you did 10 reps, and that was an easy 10 reps, guess what? You didn't do much, right? But if you're doing 10 reps of a heavier weight, and all of a sudden on that 10th rep, you're going, oh my gosh, uh, 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 uh right? Maybe with not the sound effects, but you get my point, right? It was hard. It was a challenge for you. And that's the point. You challenge your muscle, put it under a stress that's not used to, time under tension, drop sets, supersets, whatever you want to do with it. Challenge the muscle and it's meant and it has to change. That is the science behind that. So that is progressive overload. That is how you create a stimulus because the muscle needs a stimulus to change, that is how you properly create the stimulus for muscle growth. What's the second thing we're looking at? The second key rule of thumb has to do with what you eat and what you, you know, your diet. So don't get anything confused. I'm gonna make it super simple for you, right? When you're eating, you need protein to build muscle, right? Simple, right? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to have one gram of protein per pound of body weight. This generally works all the time. Generally speaking, everyone's body's different, but a good rule of thumb is to follow one gram of protein per pound of body weight, even 0.7, right? What does that translate to? Make sure you're getting a lot of protein with every single meal, right? Carbs are great, that's awesome. Let's say you're 160 pounds, right? You have 160 grams of protein and 200 grams of carbs, and look at that. You're not overeating, so you're not gonna get super fat. Make sense? That's a simple rule of thumb to give your body the nutrients it needs to simply grow. And what's the third and final thing, and I always talk about this, make sure you're getting your rest and recover. If you're sore all the time and you're really tired and groggy because your central nervous system is damaged, well, take a break. One to two rest days a week is totally fine. You grow when you sleep. Don't forget that, okay? Make sure that you're recovering properly. So I hope that was of assistance. If you guys are looking to change your life and get into the best shape of your life, we at Fitness For You do just that. So you could shoot us a DMs and we could help you out tremendously. So let us know. But you guys know the deal. Love your body, love your mind, and love your soul. And stabbing.